I'm also very passionate that one of the things that the English are very old about is their own culture. What is the Jack in the Green? How many days have you got? In a nutshell, it's like a, someone who's got inside a bush and that bush has come to life and it's, and it's dancing around the street. But there's a lot more to it than that because it's got a number of ancillary characters that hang around with it and it's there's a spirit to it as well beyond beyond the the just animate there's a there's a feeling which is intangible that you can't really describe <laughs> Jack in the Green, what is Jack in the Green about? Oh, it's it's dressing up, it's having it's fun, it's enjoying it's yourself, yeah. drinking, sun, rain, everything. It's about having a good time. It's, about, it's meant to be, you know, welcoming in summer and releasing whatever. <laughs> Have a lovely day, people! I'm also very passionate that one of the things that the English are very old about is their own culture. I went to uni in Wales and it's really, really important there, their own Welsh culture, uh, their own Welsh identity actually makes them the people that they are and they cherish and they love their songs and their dances and their customs and their traditions and you cross the border into England and people for some reason are embarrassed about their Morris dancing, they find their customs and traditions laughable, uh, they don't want to know them, we've got the largest number of collected folk songs in Europe and yet most of the people in the country don't know them aren't aware of them and you think what's going on, why, why do we have a nation here that isn't interested in itself and isn't interested in its own culture. So I, I, I felt it very important to, to get the English people to reconnect with themselves and reconnect with their own culture. event. It's a town-wide event for the whole town and, and everybody in the town gets involved. 